Guy, you just came back from the Penn's Cadet Partnership Platform in Durban. Some participants said it was much better prepared than in the past. How do you see the progress that was presented at the meeting? Um, yeah, we could say that the presentations and the work stream sessions, working sessions were not uh, of even quality, but overall interesting. What I particularly liked is the, the plenary sessions after the, the thematic uh, sessions where uh, most stakeholders had a chance to express themselves. It was very well facilitated. Guy, do you have hope for CADEP in the midterm if we have better preparations now? Uh, I mean, the, the meeting was well prepared and uh, it was forward looking, even though it did not address all the challenges to sustain CADEP momentum. And I think both the African Union and NPCA are well aware of the challenges, I mean, to sustain that momentum. Guy, where do you see the main challenge? Uh, now, the main challenge for the, the, a number of countries is what is next after the investment plans and the first business meeting, which uh, gathers all the stakeholders at the country level, and also, I mean, uh, how to uh, sustain the momentum in time. So you need both, uh, I mean, uh, methodology, which is well understood at the country level, and also, uh, I mean, priority seems to be uh, addressed during the, the future. So investment plans have to be updated. They have to be uh, tied to the medium term expenditure framework, uh, the sector review. And I mean, gradually, we hope that the agriculture sector and rural development uh, will be more performant and that the right emphasis will be put on priority issues like uh, nutrition, uh, climate change. I mean, uh, addressing the challenges of climate change are certainly new challenges which were not uh, so prominent 10 years ago. We have 10 years of CAD now. Are we getting anywhere with the critical investment plan? I mean, the CADEP and the methodology is not a straight jacket. I mean, it should be flexible, it should be adapted to the country needs, and they, they have different uh, level of capacity and uh, also level of planning. So we, we should not generalize. I mean, the, what, what is important is for the, the CADEP process to be mainstream in the country processes. It's not something parallel, something additional. It is the government plan and, and the country plan. It should be, you know, involve all the stakeholders. And uh, so it has to be, it should be a dynamic process. And uh, in a number of cases, capacity uh, should be further developed uh, to allow countries, I mean, to bring, I mean, to maintain, to update those plans as needs arise. There seems to be an issue with the expectations that donors would simply put money towards the investment plans. Plus, recipient governments seem often divided internally. For example, the agriculture ministers versus the trade ministers. Is there any way to moderate in these cases uh, to get investments flowing finally? That's very much a country level challenge, and this is one of the reasons why, uh, I mean, on the development partner side, we have uh, agreed to develop, the, I mean, some kind of guidelines for, I mean, the development partners group and the, the fora at the country level. Uh, at the same time, NPCA is also developing uh, new guidelines to clarify to explain, I mean, if there is no understanding of the processes, I mean, understanding that this is not purely a Ministry of Agriculture process, but a multi-sectoral, cross-sectoral uh, challenge. The guidelines for kind of support were originally a product by the Global Donor Platform for Rural Development five years ago. What was discussed in terms of updating these guidelines in Germany? 
thank you. Yes, I mean, uh, FAO is, is uh, in an interesting position in the sense that we support the NPCA and uh, in developing its new guidelines. And at the same time, FAO has also uh, accepted to take the lead on in developing guidelines or orientation notes, whatever we will call them eventually, I mean, for the development partners. But these will meet, I mean, basically the same messages will be developed uh, for both uh, I mean, uh, through NPCA and the uh, African constituencies and through the development partners. What is the most important message from your point of view that should be in there? Right. I mean, some of the most important messages is that we, we have to keep in mind the, the key, the foundation messages uh, on CADEP. I mean, like uh, the, 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 the fact that CADEP is to do more and better around food security, nutrition, and agriculture and rural development. More and better. So it doesn't mean to bring only new donor support or private sector support. I mean, even government resources should be better planned and better implemented. There has always been a wish to sort out roles and responsibilities in the CADEP framework. Was there movement in terms of that in Durban? I mean, accountability, mutual accountability is a very important subject. I mean, we should uh, do what we commit, but at the same time, the mechanism to, uh, to verify may be difficult to put in place or has not yet been uh, put in place. But it's a, it's a matter of mutual trust and being true partners. And in that respect, another breakthrough uh, we had during the business meeting of the, I mean the the, the meeting in Durban, is about the partnership uh, uh, agreement, which I mean, you know, for which you now both I mean the partners and NPC African Union, I mean, came to an agreement. What's your resume, Guy, for the members of the platform? I mean, they are clear. Uh, I would say relation of there is a complicity between uh, the DPCT and the global donor platform, but it's an informal uh, informal relation. It's not been formalized, and I don't think this is a problem. But the the the, the messages and the, the the approach we are advocating through the global donor platform is clearly, I mean, a driving uh, approach for the work of the DPTC.